Oh, this one claims to be a shadow shield as well, so I guess you could just kind of set it there and... Oh, I get how it's a shadow shield. Ah, oh my god, that took me forever. Hello, welcome back to my channel and to this week's video. My name is Gisela, Giselle, Gisela, whichever one of those three you want to call me. I really have no preference, although I do like Giselle the most because... It kind of has a sophisticated sound to it. And before I start today's video, I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent because it's me and it's what I do and brace yourself. I don't know if I like this red lipstick. It's just, well, it's not a red lipstick. It's supposed to be a coral shade. But I don't know if I'm feeling this just because I don't really wear bright lipsticks like this. I tend to wear plums or burgundies, just deeper colors because I have a deep dark soul. But anyway, I'm going to end that tangent there because... I could go on forever and today's video is going to be a review of a product that I have been curious about for a long time now well not of a specific product this is more of a variation of a kind of product that I've been curious about because this type of product is kind of all over the market and kind of like the makeup hacks kind of community and what I'm trying out today is a mascara and shadow shield what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to keep you from smudging your mascara everywhere you're supposed to place it underneath your eye like this or over your eye and just kind of apply your mascara and just kind of go about your day like that you can also use this as a shadow shield as implied in like the packaging here but you know just placing it like this and this right here will keep your shadow contained in just kind of your eyelid area and that's actually very useful because me, I tend to kind of get a little crazy with my shadow. I it goes, It'll goes, it go everywhere sometimes. But I didn't realize that you could do that, that that was the whole point of it. That's why it has this little thing right here. Until I finished filming the, like, the actual testing portion of this video. So you're not really going to get to see that. You're just going to get to see me applying the mascara, but... I got this at Target for about $3. It's from e.l.f. The different variation of this that I was interested in is the one that you kind of hold up against your eye and it covers up your entire eye area except for like your eyeball. So it just kind of has like a hole in the middle of it. It's like this big stiff piece of plastic if anyone's seen that out there. And so I, I've been curious about that specific one but I couldn't find that one. Well, I can't say I couldn't find it because I didn't really search for it. I saw this one at Target and decided to just kind of give it a go. So anyway, I'm going to show you the portion of me trying this out with just mascara. Alright, so I'm at the point in my makeup routine where I look terrifying because I'm not wearing any mascara and there's just like it just looks scary. I actually haven't even opened this at all, so I'm going to kind of do that. This is very rubbery, actually. I was not expecting that. I feel like you can break this easily. And the mascara I'm going to be using is just a CoverGirl Super Sizer. I'm going to start with the bottom lash first because it just seems like it'd be easier. Hmm. All right, that's just it, no. Um, hmm. This is a real struggle with trying to look pretty while filming this and, you know, doing it right. <laughs> How would I even place this? Oh my god. This looks terrifying. Still got some like mascara in my lid, but I'm not too worried because I'm gonna put liner on top of that in a second here. How would I even switch eyes? Um, I guess like that. It doesn't quite fit, but I mean. Oh my god. 
So I quickly went and finished doing makeup off camera and what that means is I just put on some eyeliner and fixed my messy ass mascara. And as for my final thoughts on this contraption here, um, let me say this first. I really wanted to like it. I did because when I do my mascara, it gets really messy. I get it on the top lid. I get it on the bottom underneath my waterline and then I have to go wipe that off and kind of redo my eyeshadow and foundation if I wore eyeshadow that day and then when it gets on the bottom here if you just leave it there it looks like you were crying all afternoon if you clean it off and try to kind of you know with a q-tip go in and clean it you smear it everywhere and then you smear off all the foundation you just did and the powder and then when you go back in and add that foundation on top and the powder, it just looks like you're covering up a black eye and it's not a nice look. And so you either end up with a black eye or like you just got done crying. So that's why I wanted to light this to kind of avoid that whole dilemma. Doing the bottom lashes actually wasn't like the big dilemma. It kind of looked like it when I was initially doing this. What was the problem was kind of having to awkwardly hold this like that and then kind of go in with your mascara like this because this thing is very like do you see that it's very it's very jiggly <laughs> and it doesn't really hold still and I feel like you'd have to really press that into your eye but you can't because it flips up like that so it was just really awkward to have to kind of try and apply and honestly, I just think this thing is very awkwardly designed because when you're trying to go from one eye, you think, I'm just going to flip it over, but then there's makeup on one side, and I guess you could go in and clean that, but if you're lazy like me or always in a hurry, you just don't want to do that. You just want to quickly, you know, you know, you just quickly want to do your makeup, or at least I do, and that's just kind of annoying. I tried just kind of going this way, but that was really awkward. This thing is just very awkward overall. The only way you can really make this work is if when you were doing this, you kind of like held it really tightly against your eye. And when you're doing your mascara, I think what would help is to really hold this against your eye. Like really hold it with your hands like this and really go in there up against the mirror like really close to the mirror i think that's kind of what would help make this work otherwise i don't really like it it's too flimsy if it was like a stiff piece of plastic it could possibly work but it's too flimsy and it just gets in the way let's be honest it gets in the way um it felt like it kind of slowed me down instead but anyway do i approve of this not really. Maybe one day I will go buy the one that I've seen online that kind of covers up your entire eye area and just leaves, you know, a little slit for your eye. Maybe I'll find that one day and try that one out. That basically concludes my review on the mascara and shadow shield. There's really not much else I can say about this. Maybe if you had a lot of free time and a lot of skill, you can make this work because if you're in a hurry, it's not really going to work. It's just going to get in the way. You're better off just being extra careful with your mascara. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Please come back again next week. I upload every Monday around midday, I think. I don't want to say exactly 2 p.m. because it's different in every different time zone. But anyway, thank you again very much for watching. And as always, remember to surround yourself by life and beauty. And have an awesome great day